Hello, hello everybody. I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art and I teach artists how to gain collectors online. Listen, tonight we're doing paint night. So go ahead and get your paints ready. These are the colors that we are using. These are the brushes that we are using. And we are going to create a beautiful uh, painting with sort of like a um, abstract kind of background with some beautiful colors some reds and yellows. And then we are going to paint some calla lilies in there. So springtime, perfect time for flowers. So we are going to do that. I'm just going to start in a few moments. Just let everybody get in here, roll in. If there's someone that you love that you would like to paint with tonight, go ahead and let them know so they can pop on here and paint with you. I know I'm in New Hampshire, but a lot of times my sister will pop on who lives in Georgia. So it's just awesome to be able to paint with friends and family, even if we are not in the same house, right? So when you pop on, say, um, hello, let me know where you guys are from. I would love to know. Um, also, let me know. If it's the first time that you are watching, uh, watching me, I would love to know that as well. And uh, yeah, also let me know how your day went. What great things happened to you today? I um, was very thankful that I got to see my daughter today and uh, spend some time with her. I mean, family is just the number one thing, right? Very, very important. So I'm super excited that I got to see my Emily. <clears throat> Let me know if you guys, sorry, there's like frog in my throat tonight. Let me know if you can see and hear me okay. I just pulled you up on the um, screen over here next to me and it looks like it was a bit grainy. So hopefully it will come in okay. Um, because that's important while we are painting. It looks good when I look up here and see what you're seeing here. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope for the best. So welcome, welcome. Uh, and once again, it's paint night here at Amy Parker Art. We do a paint night every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. EST. If you want to see <clears throat> what we are painting each week, then just go ahead and check out the events that I have set up for you right here on the page and it will show you all the paintings that we are going to be creating so you can decide if you would like to um you know what paintings you would like to paint with me okay so I hope we are not going to have tech issues hello Marcy thanks for being here honey oh I think that you messaged me too so let me check that out and check my messages over here by the way, I did set up my message on um, this live for you. So if any of you want to message me directly, just hit the live and you should be able to see that. Um, all right. Let me see. Well, I like being. Oh, Marcy, I just read your message, honey. All you do is just go in the Hello Spring show and hit discussion and just do it right there. That's totally fine. So Marcy just reminded me while I was uh, reading her comment there that um, I do have uh, the artist opportunity for anyone that was involved in the Hello Spring show um, Marcy, I see that you're saying it's blurry, although it looks like it's cleared up right now on my end. And I know we have a, um, you're welcome, Marcy. I know we have a, uh, delay. So if it doesn't straighten out in a couple seconds, just, uh, let me know again, but it looks like it's probably going to be pretty clear. So, uh, hope so. Hope so. I literally just changed carriers and, um, not too happy with that, but that's another story. Uh, but anyway, say hello. Let me know where you're from. I'm from New Hampshire. I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art. Marcy's saying, good, it's clear now. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Marcy, for that. I appreciate it. All right, so tonight we are going to be painting calla lilies. And uh, these are the, what we are using for brushes. We're using a one-inch flat, a uh, three-quarter inch flat with a little angle on there. We are using a detailed brush and a round brush. You know, sometimes I mix it up. I might grab something different, but this is what I'm going with for right now. 
Um, we, we got some green, red, yellow, white, black, a, uh, like a, is this burnt umber? Yeah. So we got like a dark brown and a light brown. I'm just using regular apple barrel paints, cheap paints. You know, you can get them at Walmart or whatever. Um, these are really fluid paints. And this one says nutmeg. I do love, I do love this, uh, this color, this brown color. Um, so anyway, that's what I've got. <clears throat> just using my, uh, foam plate here. I like these dinner plates because then it doesn't run into other areas. They run together a little bit like that, but that's okay. We just kind of roll with it. So also over here on the side, I've got my, uh, water jars and my paper towels to wipe my brushes. So whether you are just a beginner or a seasoned painter, you are uh, very welcome here and I appreciate you being here and it's just so fun to do something creative with all of you so thank you for that um oh what the heck was I gonna say I don't know I got a little brain cramp but I've been in the car a lot today I don't like to drive I get anxiety and I had to be in the car for my daughter so um anyway we are going to get started I'm just going to pull up my my example uh photo over here on my computer so I can see what the heck we're painting and I will go back intermittently to check your comments so if I miss your comment it is just because I'm looking at my reference photo of a painting I already sold to one of my collectors um that she loves um Kathy she just actually posted that on my business page because she saw what was coming up for paint night and she posted the picture she's like does this look familiar it's hanging in my guest room I'm like yeah it looks awesome so I'm glad you love that, Kathy, in case you may be watching. Um, me too. I love it too. So um, tonight I'm just going to be painting this uh, rendition on on a um, multimedia paper, okay? Just because I paint so much and I have so many canvases hanging around and I'm running out of space. <laughs> but I did sell some things for the show. So hey, if you joined uh, the Hello Spring show and had a ball... That's awesome. It was great to have you in there. Don't forget to check out the artist opportunity I have for you. Anyone that was either a vendor in the show or just in the show, if you're creative, um, that opportunity is only um, going to be available until Thursday night. I pinned it right here on my page so you can see that um, easily. All right. So we are going to start with our one inch flat brush. I'm going to dip this in my water. We are going to paint the background here. Um, I do want to say before I begin um, that if you are a creative warrior, anything I paint here on Tuesday nights, you most certainly have, I give you the rights to use this to make money, okay? If you want to, it's up to you. If you are not a creative warrior, then no, you cannot use it for that, but you most certainly can paint with me tonight. Um, try a few new things or just have fun with us. You can hang this piece painted on a canvas or whatever put it in your own home for decor or give it to a friend for their birthday, whatever you would like to do with it. Okay, so, all right, I am going to first start. Let me see, I'm examining my photo. What do I first want to start with? We are going to start with the middle here. I am going to pick up some white and yellow kind of looks like egg yolks here a little bit so i'm going to load up some white and yellow and then we are just going to go back and forth um in the middle like this like white back and forth back and forth like that and um there's no <clears throat> right or wrong here you guys you can you can make this you know any way you want just follow along. You can do it exactly like me or you can mix it up. You can use different colors or you can paint it in a different way. It doesn't matter that you are the artist and this is your creation. So you just have fun. Do not get frustrated with yourself. <laughs> okay. I know that's easy to do sometimes because uh, our, we as creative people, we're pretty um, hard on ourselves sometimes, but uh, don't be like that. Just have fun. If you make a mistake, you know what? It's only paint, so do not worry. All right, I'm going to put some some uh, more, like, just straight kind of yellow, just straight yellow without the white um, on the bottom part here. And I'm just trying to make, like, a beautiful, colorful uh, background here. 
Um, and so we're going to try, you know, some different colors. So I used a little white and yellow up here. Now I'm using just straight yellow right here on the bottom. If you have orange, uh, that's great. You can use orange at this point. If not, then you can most certainly mix orange like I'm going to do by just using uh, some red and yellow. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my red, grab a little yellow, and I am going to start, just like we did, wiping back and forth right like below the the kind of blob that we made, right? Um, this form below it and then just kind of pulling it, brushing it up into it. So start off below and brush it up into it like that. Because if the paint is still wet a little bit, you're going to have these cool, pretty little brush strokes going on. And we want this painting background to kind of look like that. We want to see those brush strokes in there. That's how I painted it initially anyway. Um, it is up to you. If you don't want to see the brush strokes, you most certainly can paint it like smooth. Uh, you are, like I said, the artist. You are creating this piece. So whatever you would like to do. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth here. We don't want these... Um, we don't want everything to look the same in our painting. We want to mix it up a little bit so we can add a little bit of interest through the painting. Um, because if it's just like a, you know, a straight line or whatever, I mean, I'm not knocking it. Okay. Because every art is unique in its own way and style. But, um, this one is just kind of like a, like an abstract kind of uh, background. I do want to let you know I'm also using a little bit of floating medium by Folk Art uh, right here with my acrylic paints. It's clear, so I'm just dipping it in there when I want to blend into the other color a little bit easier. I can, um, I am still letting the brush strokes show, <laughs> let me say this slower. I'm still letting the brush strokes show through but I'm just dipping the corner of my brush into the floating medium just to kind of drag the color around a little bit more. So how is everyone doing so far? We doing good. We doing good. I'm going to give you a second to catch up. I'm going to go and check. Uh, I'm going to check and see what you are saying here. See what's going on. Um, don't be a wallflower on my uh, videos. I, If you're here and watching, I would absolutely love for you just to say hello uh, or whatever you would like to say. Let me know if you're enjoying this um, because uh, I love to see your comments and have you join in. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Um, okay, Lisa Marie. Hello, Lisa Marie. Hello, Linda. Uh, Marcy is doing great. Okay, wonderful. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to move back over to my my reference photo here. Now, you guys can also, like like I said, put your own spin on stuff. If you want to paint it just like what I'm doing tonight, you most certainly can do that. And then go back, you know, later and create a new one and just kind of use um, these strokes or whatever and come up with something of your own. That's totally fine, too. Uh, now I'm looking at my reference photo and I know that I mentioned that we were going to use black. I'm not really sure how much black we're actually going to use or if we're going to use it, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> just double check in here. All right. So now I'm going to even put like a more vibrant, uh, color down here. So I'm just going to go with straight red. Now with the multimedia paper, this dries pretty fast. It's probably already dry. So it may be hard for me to blend in here. Once again, I'm just going back and forth like this, but we don't want to go back and forth exactly in the same way all the time. Mix it up a little bit. Turn your hand this way, turn your hand that way. Just kind of uh, put these cool little brush strokes in, make some a little higher, some a little lower, and just kind of mix it up. If you are painting on a canvas, then you have a little longer drying time than I do. Um, I am painting with acrylic paints, um, you most certainly can paint with, you know, a different medium if you would like. That's totally fine. But I am an acrylic woman. That's my my thing. That's what I really love. So look at that. Look at how cool and fiery that is. I just love the fiery colors. It just, I don't know, really floats my boat. Um, so now, once again, I'm just dipping a little bit into my medium, my floating medium that is a clear and just kind of 
crisscrossing back and forth in here to blend it a little, but I still want to see my brush strokes. But once again, with the multimedia paper, it it dries a little faster than a, on a canvas. That's why I'm, you know, I'm using a little um, a little help with that medium right there. Okay, now I'm just wiping I'm wiping the paint off of my brush on the paper towel like that. I'm not really going to dip it in the water. I am just going to go ahead and grab uh, these two brown colors. I'm going to kind of just mix the browns together, the lights and the darks. Not too much because we don't want it completely mixed, but I'm just picking it up so we can see. Like there's two different tones on, on that uh, brown right there. I'm not even sure if you can see that too well, but basically just kind of mixing it up together. All right, so now I'm going to start from the corner. And I'm just going to drag right up into my red with that and just keep, keep picking up those browns and dragging up like that. And, you know, blending a little bit, but not a lot because we want to just keep this kind of impressionistic looking and, you know, like um, impressionistic and, and sort of like an abstracted kind of background. And when I'm done with this, little segment. I'm going to go back and check your comments, see if you're saying anything, because, you know, I don't want you to feel out of place. If you're, if you're saying anything, you most certainly can. I do apologize when I'm actually painting. Sometimes I can't see comments right off, but I do get back to you. I do get back to everyone. You guys tell them. My creative warriors, <laughs> whoever's a creative warrior on here, you tell them, yes, I will get back. I promise. I uh, you are important to me, and um, it's just I just can't see right now. So now I'm just using just the corner, once again, of this uh, floating medium, and just kind of crisscrossing back and forth and through here, and just, you know, blending it a tiny bit, just to give it a really nice, nice, cool effect kind of going on. You can see, maybe you can see my multimedia paper is like buckling up a tiny bit, that's okay. That doesn't bother me. I have it taped down on a piece of cardboard. Um, you most certainly can just leave it. If you're using multimedia paper, you can leave it right in the, um, uh, the uh, um, what am I trying to say? If, if you have a spiral binder, that's the best kind because then you can just flip the pages. But mine you have to rip out. You can leave it right bound like that, but i I tried it a couple of times, the last, I think, two paint nights, but then I ended up painting a lot on the side, so I decided to just rip it out and tape it down onto a uh, a cardboard. All right, let me go back and uh, see what you're saying here. See what you're saying. See what you are saying. All right, hello, Linda. Marcia, hello from California. Hello, honey. Thank you for being here. Diane, I'm watching from, from Graham, Washington. Awesome, Diane. Thank you for being here. Um, hello, Mom. Everybody say hi to Kareen. That is my mom, and she is my biggest fan <laughs> still to this day. So thanks, Mom. Love you so much. So this is looking kind of cool, right, you guys? I mean, it's kind of coming together pretty neat here. And um, I'm really loving the colors. What do you guys think so far about the colors? Let me know. Let me know. All right. So <clears throat> this is kind of dried a little bit in through here. So what I'm going to do, because we're kind of going to do the same thing with the colors down here, the browns, we're going to bring them on top as well and kind of blend them into the yellow. But just because I know my yellow is dried, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more yellow and just kind of run this right in here, right on the edges, so that when I start putting in the the browns, I can blend it a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing there. That's what I am doing there. If you guys have any questions, you go ahead and shoot. Go ahead and ask me. Um, you, you also can message me directly. I did make sure that was available on this video, so... If you touch my face, you will be able to actually click the bell to get the notifications. Plus, you will probably see right there, you can message Amy Parker Art um, anytime. All right, so now I'm just rinsing that one-inch flat brush that I was using. I'm just rinsing it. I'm just wiping it like this, dragging it back and forth on my paper towel. You want to do that with a flat brush. You don't want to go back and forth. 
The only time you want to go back and forth on your paper towel is if you're using like a bristle brush like this and you don't care if it gets all jacked up. Okay, so now I am going to take those two browns. Once again, I'm using a burnt umber and then a cinnamon or no, a nutmeg, I think it's called. Um, these are just regular craft paints that you can get at Walmart. Uh, not pricey at all. I have the 8-ounce um, fluid bottles, but they also come in smaller, little smaller ones, too. Um, I've even seen craft paints, you guys, at the dollar store, literally. Like... So if you want to get, you know, some supplies to paint along with me every single Tuesday night, just giving you some ideas uh, on where you could get those. Eventually, I'll probably have links right here for you to just go and grab them. But at the moment, I don't. But that's okay. We're working towards that. All right. So we're just kind of going back and forth here with our brush once again like this and like that just wiping one way wiping another way we want to make sure that our hand is positioned in different ways so as I'm painting you might be able to, you might be able to see that I'm kind of turning my hand turning my wrist in different ways that's so that everything doesn't look boring and we can just kind of you know go back and forth and through here and just mix up how things look with the brush strokes all right, so I'm running out of a little bit more of my nutmeg. This is my color I, I really like a lot. Um, you know, you guys can just paint with me literally with um, basic colors. Like, uh, that's all that I use. I, I mix a lot of my colors. So you just need really the primary colors, uh, which is yellow, red, and uh, blue. And then, you know, you can mix all your colors from there. But... If you want to grab some other ones, I do recommend getting a brown because it's really hard to mix a brown uh, with those colors. Now, I can already tell that I'm going to need to add just a little bit more yellow to here. So um, I'm going to just pick up a little bit more yellow and then just kind of mix it in with that. See what happens. You know, painting is just like you are experimenting and trying out new things and just kind of feeling it and see what we like and, you know, having a good creative time here. So this gives like a different effect as well. If you just put a little more color on and just kind of go back and forth and through here. And I'm going to check the video in a moment, make sure that we are still okay. Things look okay on my end. I hope they're okay on your end. I'm going to stick my one-inch brush into some, is this a one-inch or is this a half-inch? What did I tell you guys? <laughs> it's a one-inch. Okay. Let me make sure. But, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you can use whatever you have for supplies. You know, like I said, maybe you're an experienced painter, which I know I have a lot on here. Um, maybe you paint better than me, which is great, and that's totally fine. Um... And maybe you're just, you know, starting out, which is totally fine as well. So wherever you are, that's fine. You're welcome to be here. And, you know, you're welcome to just put your own spin on stuff. Maybe I'm just like sparking an idea for you or something like that. That's totally fine, too. And I love it. I love it when you guys send me your, your um, you know, send me pictures of what you create with me. It is just so, it's just so fun. And it uh, makes me feel good that, um you know, we're all doing this together and having a good time. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I love it. All right. So this is, you know, really up to you in here. You just kind of figure out what you like in. If you want to move, um, a, you know, a structure in a different spot, you go ahead and do so. It doesn't matter. There's really no right or wrong. I'm going to just, because I think it would look cool, put a little bit, um, just going to put a little light in here and then I'm going to go over it with some more yellow because we are painting uh, white calla lilies on this as soon as we get the background done. So I really don't want to leave a big white spot here because then our white calla lily is not going to show up. So I'm just kind of layering things and seeing what I like. That's all. And if you really love this, you know, if you're painting it on a tiny you know, piece of uh, paper or cardboard. You can paint on anything, really. Um, if you really love it, then you can get a canvas and paint it on something 
you know, larger and hang it up and put it in your living room or your kitchen. All right, I'm just washing off that one inch flat brush right now and switching my paper towel over so that I, well, so that I'm not all full of disgusting paint and have a clean paper towel here. And then I'm going to go back before we paint the cow lilies. Make sure that uh, this stream looks okay for you and you guys can see. And uh, I just want to check and see what you're saying. So let me switch over and take a look-see. Um, all right. Linda said, hello, Kareen. That's sweet. Thanks, Linda. I like the colors, Marcy says. Love the earth tone with the yellow and red and orange. Me too, Linda. Really totally pops, stands out, looks pretty darn cool. Um, how are you guys seeing? Is everything looking okay? Because it's looking two different ways in my camera here as opposed to my camera that I'm seeing on my computer. So please let me know. Somebody just give me something. Let me know if you can see clearly right now. We got a little delay, so I'm going to wait to see if you can see clearly. And then we will start working on our calla lilies. All right. Next week. Oh, my gosh. You guys don't want to miss next week. We are going to be painting um, Mystic Woods. I named it. Um, it's also sold. Like I said, most all these right now for the next, um, I don't know, I think a couple of months that I put the events on for paint night they're all they're all sold pieces uh that you know my collect my collectors have grabbed but um i do have the photos on my computer so next week we are painting mystic woods and it is absolutely gorgeous if you didn't see it just go to the event so you can take a look because i do have it in there all right so i'm assuming that we're still looking good here all right I'm going to go back and get to my reference photo, and we are going to start creating some calla lilies. All right, we're going to put five in this painting. You most certainly can put more if you want or less, but I will give you a little tip that if you're putting, when you're putting subjects in like this, it is best to go with odd numbers. So either put five or three. Um... You know, it is your painting, so you still can paint it however you want, but odd numbers tend to look better. All right, so I'm going to pick up, oh, I might even use a little bit, I'm trying to think if I want to use a little bit of black in here. I actually might want to use a little bit of black. Okay, so I'm just thinking to myself, I talk out loud when I'm thinking and trying to figure out what I'm going to create here. All right, so I'm using the half inch, I mean the three quarter inch flat right now. Just wet that, dab it on your paper towel, and I'm going to mix a uh, some of this like Christmassy green color with black, with a little bit of black. We don't want to put too much black because then we're not even going to be able to see the green. So we're going to mix that together like that. I kind of want a lot on my brush because we are going to drag up. We want, we want to make sure you try and get that right on the tip. That's why I... I um, I scrape that on the side. <clears throat> Linda says, I agree, odd numbers I think would look good. Yes. And Linda, I know uh, Linda and I talked today a little bit, and she was asking me if I ever used the um, gold flex like on my paintings. Um, right now, before I get into that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chiseled edge of this, and I'm going to drag it. And we're just going to do simple little um, lines for our um, stems. Okay, so you want to kind of figure out where you want your flowers. So I'm going to put one here, one here, 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 and here. So anyway, Linda and I, Linda was asking me if I've used the gold flex on any of my paintings, and I have not, but I've, I use um, metallic. I've used like metallic gold and stuff as far as like paints, but the actual sheets I have not used, but I've seen it done and it is, it's, it looks awesome. Let me know if you are a painter and you have used it. Um, I think it would look so cool in an abstract piece or multimedia piece. And I'm really 
taking a long time to paint this. Usually I would just like whoop, go right up there. But as I'm talking and I've had coffee, I'm um, having a little bit of coffee hands here. And I don't want these lines to be shaky coffee hands. I want them to be more straight. Not Well, I mean, putting a little curve in it, but I don't want it to be all wiggly like that because they're actually stems that we are creating here. So I'm going to put another small one right down here, just like a little peekaboo of a stem. Once again, I'm just using a dab of black in here, and then I'm putting, mixing the green. It's like a Christmassy green that I'm using. Now I'm going to put one here, kind of going up here. You can start with the top piece if you want, or the bottom, or you can make a line like that. Uh, but I just want to make sure that my lilies are going to be positioned kind of where I want them. And it, there's no right or wrong. You can have them wherever you would like. So as I go down here, I'm going to make it thicker on the bottom and thinner on the top. Um, just like, you know, when we are painting tree trunks and things like that, we want them uh, a little thicker on the bottom. I'm just trying to fix this one that I had a little wiggly coffee hand on because we don't want that wiggly coffee hand. <laughs> I will check your comments in a little while. I promise. I promise. I just want to get these. Um, I just want to get these stems in here. Now we're going to make this a little more interesting, and I'm going to cross one uh, stem over here. So I'm just going to start from here and go down. Because in nature, that would look kind of cool, right? Have one crossed over. Just kind of give our painting a little bit more of a, um, a little more interest going on with it. Once again, I'm just using the Christmas green with a little tiny bit of black in there. Tiny bit of black. And you can see how I'm not, whoops, how I'm not making my stems all the, the um, same height across you you most certainly can if you want but I'm just kind of mixing it up so that they're going to look a little bit different so there we go let me know when you're done your stems I am going to just go back and uh, see what you all are saying thank you very much by the way for joining me if you're just popping in I am Amy from Amy Parker Art and I teach artists how to gain collectors online with auctions shows and parties Tonight we are doing paint night, and um, yeah, we're doing paint night, Tim. I just wanted to see if he was in here. I wanted to see what this looked like on his phone, because on my computer it's looking a little grainy, but on my phone up here, when I stand up, it's looking nice and clear. So I really hope that you guys can, can see okay. Um, let's see. Mom says... Those three large cans of temper powder, primary colors, I bought 45 years ago to let you and Dom make your own secondary and te uh, tetrary colors was one of my best investments. Yes, I know, and I still remember doing that. Uh, Linda, thanks for the reminder. I missed too many of these live demonstrations. Oh, Mom, just remember, it's every Tuesday night. Hello, Estelle. I'm glad you're on here, too. Um, Estelle, I just varnished your crane painting and uh, I will send that out soon. It's just drying. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are just going to put, uh, a little bit of highlights on our dark green stems that we made. Okay. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to, uh, touch in my green here and my white and I'm just going to make a light green with my green and my white. So as light as you want. Doesn't matter. It just doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using that three-quarter inch brush. And I'm going to use that chiseled edge to kind of pull down the stems to put a little bit of uh, a little pop on the stems with some highlight. Okay. We don't want to cover the whole thing. Just kind of want to move around, drag some pieces longer than others. You can do like some, like I just kind of pulled this, this side here to make like a little spot like that. Now remember, this one is going over this one here. So we want to make sure that we've got that highlight looking right. 
So we're going to drive this one like that. I'm going to use the side of the, the tip of the brush and just kind of pull in a couple spots just to kind of give the appearance that this is a rounded stem, rounded stem like that. Okay, so let me pull this up a little bit closer so you can get a closer idea on what I did with the highlights. You can take your time, you guys, and you can even blend these highlights in even more. I just am doing like a quick little, you know, painting tutorial with you, little paint night. So <clears throat> you can you can take your time. You guys can, you know, do whatever you would like with your painting. It's your painting, so you you are the creator. Let me go back and see what's going on. Okay, we're just all saying hi to Estelle. Thank you for being here. All right, now I'm going back to my reference photo and we are going to start these pretty calla lilies all right so i'm going to rinse off that three quarter inch brush rinse that off and then i'm trying to figure out if i want to use that same brush or not give me a moment to comp contemplate with myself here mm -hmm. I think maybe we're just going to switch over to the round brush for the heck of it. I'm going to try the first one with the round brush and see if I like that. If not, then we'll switch back to this brush. But right now, I'm going to grab my round brush right here. Dip that in my water. Drag that back and forth on my paper towel. And I'm going to be using... I'm just going to be going right into just some straight white, okay? Okay. Just some straight white. Just kind of drag that, load it up with your round brush. And uh, then we are going to be just kind of painting the uh, outline of the cow lily here. So let's see. I'm going to go like this. And thank you. I cannot remember who had mentioned it, but somebody mentioned on my page that um see if um, i just want to show you give you a second to see what kind of shape i did there somebody mentioned on my page she sent me a photo of calculus she was like basically was she was trying to show me that they had like more of a point which um was pretty cool and i do know that it's just when i created that painting i um you know, I did a quick kind of abstracty kind of thing, but I'm going to take her advice and we're going to just put a little bit of a point on some of these. Um, so thank you for bringing that to my attention. All right. So now I'm going to just kind of drag this one around like this. So now we have like this cool looking like teardrop kind of shape. Um, I, I didn't paint this high enough. I wanted to to paint this a little higher to have like the base just come here but that's okay I'm going to just paint right over where I want the base so I'm going to just pull this down like we are making a triangle sort of right underneath it and then I'm going to just use my round brush and paint that in we kind of want to use the same strokes as where this how this flower would actually be right I don't know if that makes sense but okay so I'm rolling again in my white and we are going to put a little bit of we are going to put a little bit of um um low lights in through here as well so we can give this even more definition but for right now, we just want to get the basis of our shapes kind of going on. All right, so once again, just using the round brush, and I'm rolling back and forth. And uh, now I'm just standing up to check, and I think Linda's saying that I was frozen. I hope I'm still not frozen. Sorry about that. I'm going to check over here. It looks like we're good now, but let me double check on my laptop. doesn't look like we are... Uh, doesn't look like we're frozen anymore. Thank you for letting me know, Linda. Um, let's see. Dog show tonight. 
Uh, can't wait to see if Ebony reacts to it. Oh, what? so Estelle, you like streaming a dog show and your dog likes to watch it? Is that what's going on? <laughs> That's what I'm getting from that. Uh, so hopefully we're good. Linda, tell me if we're, we're still good. Um, that paint dries fast. I'd be using the blow dryer by, uh, that paint dries fast. I'd be using the blow dryer by now. Um, yeah, you most certainly can use a blow dryer, especially with acrylic paints. No problemo. If you want to speed up your drying time, you most certainly can use that. A lot of times I do have my blow dryer. Boy, this is dangerous. I'm doing this right over my painting, uh, trying to just kind of scrape off that paint on the side. But look, hey, we didn't drop any, so we're doing good. All right, so now I'm just going to make another shape on the bottom here. I'm going to go, let's see, kind of like that. I think that looks kind of cool. And just kind of like this. So what does this look like? This, this shape kind of reminds me of like a leaf, a leaf shape, right? And then right underneath it, I'm just going to pull down and make one of those triangles again. But I'm just going to kind of round it out on the bottom so it's not like a stiff point. How are we doing so far? Everybody good? We all caught up? If you are painting with me, let me know. Let me know if I'm going too fast or if you're, you're good. You're following along at a beautiful speed. And yeah, let me know. Let me know. Uh, Estelle is right. Sometimes it's just the internet, Linda. Estelle, thank you for saying that. You are completely right. And, um, you know, being online, sometimes tech things happen with the internet and it is out of our control. I do have some special things, like I plug my computer right into the modem. I also have a hotspot right next to me, it's called, for my phone. So, I do, you guys, I take all these steps that I possibly can to make sure that it streams okay. Um, doing great, Marcy says. Okay. Awesome. 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 All righty. Now, we are going to make some different shapes here. You know what? For the heck of it, to make sure I don't do this, uh, make sure I, do, I have enough space here like I didn't on these two. But I'm going to start from the bottom and then go up on this flower. So, we'll try this. I'm going to start from the bottom and then go up. Now, you see how I'm making, like, different shapes. They're not, they're similar, but they're not all the same. So I've kind of made, like, just like a little curve here, sort of like a half circle, and then kind of pulled that out a little bit right there. Okay, so right now, if you're just joining me, I'm Amy from Amy Parker Art, and we are just having a fun paint night for anyone that wants to just join in the conversation, either watch the painting as it happens like magic, or you can grab your paints and paint along with us. So thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate um, you all hanging out. I do love this round brush as you push down, right? It's going to spread out a little bit more. So if you want a thinner line, don't put as much pressure. If you want it to spread out more, then push down a little harder. Tim, can you please look on your phone on my live on Amy Parker Art and just tell me what it looks like on your phone? Um, I just want to see, I know that some of, they were telling me it was like a little bit grainy and it had frozen and all that. And it looks a little bit different on my laptop than it does on my actual recording. I just want to see what you can see on your, okay, because whatever you see is most likely what they can see. So I just want to make sure that they're getting a, a good art show here. All right, I'm just filling up a little more white. Hey, you guys proud of me tonight? I haven't been a heavy pourer. I've just been pouring a little bit of paint. Usually I go crazy and I paint like, 
I put way too much pain on my palate. And then I'm like, uh oh. Um, yes, Linda's just letting me know when it happens. And thank you, Linda, because sometimes I don't even notice because I am actually looking over here and not here all the time. But uh, yeah, thank you. All right, so we are going to still use the round brush. I'm rolling it in the white, straight white paint. And we are just putting some shapes on here for our calla lilies. Now, you guys can make yours, your calla lilies bigger or smaller. You know, I got a little bit of green in there. Whoopsie. You, you know, there are actually different um, sizes of calla lilies that... Um, I didn't even know about until recently. Like, they have mini ones and larger ones, so that's kind of cool. So, you can make yours as big or as small as you would like. We just want to make sure that that top piece really, um... We make sure that that top piece is bigger than the bottom piece of the flower. Oh, it looks kind of cool. I like it. One thing I do love about this paper is that it the multimedia paper does dry fast. So you can, like here, I can see through a little bit of the stem. So I can just go over that and paint right over that. Same with here. Just put another layer on real quickly to make, you know, quickly make your flowers uh, less transparent if they were picking up some of the that background color. Then go ahead and throw some more white on there. That's totally fine. Just try and use those brush strokes the way that the flower is shaped. All right, let me just take a look. See, make sure we are still good. <clears throat> mom says it looks great on my new laptop. Awesome. Thanks for that, mom. I appreciate that. Okay, we are going to make our last calla lily. That Well, we're still not done putting the low lights in there, but I'm using the round brush and the white, picking up some, uh, some color, and just making some pretty shapes. We want to have like a little flow here. So we don't want them like perfectly like rounded. We want to have like a little wiggle in there uh, because that would just look beautiful. Um in the flower. So just put a little wiggle in it. Not too much, but a little bit. So, you know, I just showed you how we can either start from this part or this part first. Doesn't matter. We're just kind of blocking it in and getting that white down for the flower. But if you, if you do what I just did and paint this part first, just make sure that you go over the, this top part again to cover those bottom lines because, <clears throat> excuse me, this part is on top of this part. So we want to make sure that you can notice that when you look at the painting, that you know what part is in front of the other. Here I had a tiny bit of green show through on my white, so I'm just covering that up. There we go. And let me see. Yeah, it's not really dried enough yet for me to put that other layer in there, but that's good. All right, let me check what's going on, and then we're going to start <clears throat> with a little bit of low lights in our calla lilies. Um, Tim says, looks great. Thank you, babe. Thanks for that. Estelle says, I think they also come in yellow, pink, and blue. Yes, Estelle, I actually did another painting of, like, small calla lilies that were yellow, um, a photo I took myself just at the grocery store. <laughs> it was awesome. When I walked in, I saw all these beautiful flowers and I was snapping pictures. And then I painted some yellow calla lilies. So you're right with that blue. I don't know if I've seen those, but that sounds gorgeous. Um, I would love to see that. All right. So now here, here, um, as I'm looking at my reference photo, I can see that I used actually like a like a greenish a greenish color for the um for the low light. So 
that's what we're going to go with. I'm just going to throw this out. Give me a moment. I got to get grab my other jar here so I can make sure I'm not muddying up all of my paint colors. Come on, jar. Move over. Move over. All right. And the cat's in here, too. So I'm hoping that the cat does not jump up here on my painting while I'm painting for you guys, because that would be a horror show. All right. Now, this would the low lights would also look good with a light gray or a, <clears throat> excuse me, like a bluish gray. But right now, for the heck of it, I'm going to um, use like just a light green. And I mean real light green. We don't want it as even as uh, this highlight color for the stems. We want it even lighter than that. So uh, we can pick up some of that green, but we do want it... We do want it pretty light, and I'm just going to use the round brush once again. All right, so you just got to look at your painting and figure out where you're going to want it darker and where you're going to want it lighter on these calla lilies. I'm going to put a piece in here, a little stroke in there. I'm also going to put one here. I pull that out a little bit. And pull that around. I'm going to put like a little dab under there. Now, I am going to just twirl my brush back and forth on my paper towel like this. Not dip it in the water. I'm going to pick up a little bit of medium. You can, if you don't have medium, you can dip it in the water. That's totally fine. But I'm going to use the medium. Now, I'm just going to touch right where it's not blended so that I can blend that in and just like magic it will be blended in a little bit more this top piece I'm gonna leave like that I think that looks kind of cool so it's up to you wherever you want it blended uh, and wherever you don't I mean it's your painting once again I'm just using the round brush I'm kind of rolling it back and forth in the white and I'm just picking up a hint of green just a hint all right, so now we are just putting in some low lights in our cow lilies. What's going on? It's just the focus goes in and out a little bit sometimes. And it yeah. It's a little blocky. It's, you know what? She Tim's in here, and I just want you guys to know I'm not happy with our new internet. What am I supposed to do? It's the internet. Try to make no, it. it's the it's internet. To pick up on the brushes. It's looking good right here. So just watch in like 15 seconds and tell me if it looks okay. But like Estelle was saying, babe, there's not much I can do about it. Yeah. We already got a hot spot. I, I'm already plugged into the modem. So, you know, we're just going to have to get the Netgear modem. Anybody have a Netgear modem? Um, I told my husband, I told Tim that I want to get that, like, immediately. I think that might help. So hopefully tomorrow. You want to get one tomorrow, Tim? Okay, that would be great. Okay, just using the round brush, twirling it back and forth in white with a tad, <clears throat> tad bit of green with uh, to, to try and get the low lights in here. Let me bring this up and show you a closer look of what these low lights are actually looking like. Um, so you can see that we're actually getting like a little dimension in the shapes of our calla lilies. So here's the other three that I did not put the low lights on yet, are, which is just white paint. We blocked those flowers in and filled them with white. And here I am just putting in, like I said, the green, the light, light green low lights. But you most certainly could use a light gray or even a um a light blue i think would look cool too or you know like estelle was saying maybe because calla lilies are uh could be um yellow even yellow would look good but i'm using a a light green right now to get these um these low lights in here so you just kind of figure out where you would like it. If you want to blend it, like I said, you just pick up a little bit of medium on your brush and then just kind of blend it like I did up here. 
Um, or you most certainly could just use water. If you don't have a medium, that's totally fine too. And just see where you want to put that, um, that low light. So I'm going to just pick up a tiny bit of medium right here and just pull this down a little bit. Let's pull that down a little bit. If you guys did not touch the video yet and click the bell to uh, get notifications when I'm live, go ahead and do that because I don't want you to miss a thing when we are doing paint night together. Um, and I go live numerous times during the week, not just for paint night. You guys know I help artists and creative people with their businesses online. I help artists gain collectors like I have um, doing the things that I have for for years, auctions, shows, parties. I teach you numerous ways to run your business and gain collectors online using your amazing artistic abilities. Um, so we are on live quite a bit talking about stuff like that, um, but we do tons of paintings too. So if you click that bell, you can get notified when I'm live. Um, yeah, you also can message me directly on uh, most of my lives, this one in particular, I did allow for direct messages if you would like to do that. If you have any questions, you can most certainly let me know. And, um, you know, I love it when you guys are popping on here. And, of course, when you comment and uh, let me know how you're loving everything or just, you know, conversing with each other on our with our little creative community here. Um, now, some spots you may want a little bit darker than other spots, even with the low lights, right? Mix it up a little bit. Put a put a darker piece in here if you see it. Whatever you see or think what would look good, then just, you know, add a little more dimension like that. So even with the low lights. Huh? I fixed it. How do you, hold on. Tim's talking to me. How do you think you fixed it? The TV was on, so I was probably drawing some of the internet. And there was a cord running over your router. This electrical cord yeah. interfered. It's running right over your oh. extender. So. Can you guys say thank you to Tim? I'll talk to you about it after then. Thank you, babe. I appreciate that. I don't know if it's fixed. <laughs> oh, my God. He's like, you guys could probably hear him. He's telling me, oh, I think I fixed the problem. But no, I think the problem would be fixed when we buy when we just get a better modem. And uh, yeah. All right, even though we just changed carriers and, you know, they uh, were telling me how awesome it was and whatever. I mean, Estelle's right, too. It's just sometimes it's just the Internet, period. Okay, so these look really, really cool. I'm very happy with these so far. We are not done. We are almost done, but we are going to put a beautiful finishing touch on the inside of each flower that is going to make this painting amazing. I'm just going to go over and see what you guys are saying. Let me pull you up over here for a moment. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let me roll up. Let's see. Okay. So Estelle says, Okay, I did read that about the yellow and uh, the blue. Shaping up nicely, Mom says. Linda, I'm watching you on my Roku TV. Yay, that's awesome. Um, you can too, Corinne. Yes, Mom, you can. Okay, uh, looks okay now. I like the dimension coming. Yes, me too. Um, Autocorrect. I guess she might have said something. That didn't pick up right. Hey, we always misspell stuff when I'm like voice texting or whatever. Do not worry about it. I'm a horrible speller anyway. I'm better at painting. Um, Linda said hello to Tim. Uh, Mom, this looks amazing already. Shading is everything. Yes, yes, it totally is. Love having you on the show. Helping Amy. Yes, yes, he's awesome. Okay, so now we are going to put uh, the... The inside pieces to our, whatever it is, the little pollen pieces or the middle of the flower. I think we ha I had a brain cramp on this one before and I don't know. I'm just going to tell you I'm putting the middle of the flower in. And I'm using my small detailed brush for this. And we are going to mix up like an orange, 
like a dark orange color. That's what I used in my um, initial painting that I did of Calla Lilies that my my collector um, Kathy now owns and is hanging in her guest room. So we're going to just dab a little bit into yellow and mix into the red. So dab a little yellow, mix into red. You can make these middle pieces of the flowers any color you want. It's your painting, right? It doesn't even have to be correct for the actual flower. I mean, I don't know. You just, just have fun. Okay, so I'm going to touch down harder on the top and then, then lighten up a little bit on the bottom or vice versa, depending on where I'm going to, how I'm going to hold it. So right here, I'm going to touch down harder and then roll and lift up. All right, so yellow, dab a yellow into red, dab a yellow into red. I'm going to touch down harder and then drag and lift up. This one I'm going to make come right out a little bit further. And, you know, you can put these middle pieces wherever you see fit on your painting. can do it as that exactly like mine, or you can mix it up and, you know, make it your own. It does not matter. This is your creation. Make a smaller one there. Now, I'm going to even put a little more dimension. Let me show you these, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to put even a little more dimension on these, and then we are going to put a little white line over those so that, th like this one, for instance, so it doesn't look kind of weird. A um, couple of them look, actually, this one looks good to me, so I'll probably leave that one, but some of them need a little something extra. So I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to grab my, my brown. I'm going to grab my dark brown for the heck of it and mix this in with my, that red color I made. And I do like that. So I just darkened that up just a little bit with a burnt umber. And I'm even going to give a little more dimension with some shading on my middle part of my flowers. Just going to kind of shape it a little bit more. I think that looks way cool. Way cool. Bum, ba, da, ba, ba. Just using a little detailed brush here in the acrylic um, fluid craft paints. That's all I'm doing. All right, let me show you close up what that deeper color for the shading did in the middle of the flowers. Um, Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. And then we are going to just do a little more finessing with our detailed brush just to kind of, just to kind of, um, make these flowers look a, look a little bit better, right? Okay. So I'm just going to grab some white, straight white with my detailed brush. I'm going to go right over where I painted that um, that little orange blob for the middle of the flower. Just kind of cover that a little bit on the bottom. Same with this one. I'm just going to kind of rise up here like, oops, it's still wet. So I'm kind of dragging my color around, kind of make like a little mountain right close to it. This one looks good. I'm going to leave it. This one just needs a little something there. Oops. See, you guys, you got to make sure you don't do what I'm doing. Make sure your paint, your orange paint is uh, dry first because I'm dragging a little bit of that middle color around. I'll have to keep going over that. Um, if you have your blow dryer, you can just quickly, you know, hit it with a blow dryer. That will be fine. But I'm just pulling a little red in through here and call it 
cover that up. All right, you might not be able to see it because it's far away, but it makes a world of difference. So I'm going to hold this up to the camera so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So instead of them looking like they're just like stuck there or floating there, I should say, where I use the detail I did a little little squiggly thing, kind of, this one was good, but uh, it just kind of covered that middle part of the flower, so it looks pretty neat. I love this piece. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. If you had fun, I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, do not forget, uh, what do we do when we are done a painting? What do we do? What do we do? You never want to forget over in the right hand corner. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of white and mix it with my brown. And I want to use water with this, not my medium. I want this to be kind of um, like ink and just drag it with my, my detailed brush to sign my name. And then I'm just going to sign right in the corner. And I always date 2021. Always date them as well because you know what? You're going to want to look back or if you sell pieces or you, you know, give pieces or whatever it is and you create a lot of paintings, you're going to want to know, you know, what dates they were created. It's pretty, it's pretty cool to have the date on there. Um, all right. So yeah, that is our beautiful calla lily. And let me go back and see what you guys are saying. Let me go back. <clears throat> um, Linda says, nice. Estelle says, pretty. Thank you very much, ladies. Uh, Marcia, will this be recorded? Yes, honey. Marcia, every single paint night that I do... You can find right here on my page. I do not um, delete them. So they're right here on my page. You most certainly can go back and pause and paint, pause and paint. Uh, Marcia, are you a member of my free group, which is uh, Creative Dreams? If you are, then I will put this right into Creative Dreams. Like I do most of the, the recordings, put them in there so that you guys can just grab them whenever you want. So, um, and if you're not, Marcia, go ahead and request to join. I'll put you in there. You can find it right, um, Creative Dreams right here under community, right here on my page, Amy Parker Art. Mom says, I love it. I love you, Mom. You're awesome and amazing. I'll show you guys my face right now, but literally, I drove four hours today. I had to go and get Emily, and I feel like kind of a wreck. <laughs> uh, Marcia, you are not. Well, you should be, honey. You know what? Right now, let me just go grab the link for you. Hold on, honey. I'm going to go to Creative Dreams right now, and I'm going to put it in here so that you can request to join, and I can add you immediately. Um, give me one momento. There we go with that. Let me see if I can grab that for you. Whoops. Oh, that was not working. It, I, I have a new mouse here and sorry, I had like a little mouse issue, but let me go back to Creative Dreams. And let me see. Let me see if that will work. Enter. I think that will work. I just put it in there for you, Marcia, and anybody else who wants to join Creative Dreams. Like I said, it's my free group. You most certainly can get in there. Um, let me know if you see it pop up. If not, then I'll go back and check again. Um, but any of my groups or anything that's going on, you can find right here on my page. Uh, Linda says, I love, I love it too. It came out great. Thank you, Linda. 
Julie says, thank you so much. You are very welcome, Julie. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Did you paint <clears throat> Did you paint tonight with us, Julie? I'm just curious. That would be awesome. Uh, Marcy, who is my biggest cheerleader, as well as my mom. Uh, Marcy, thank you very much. Uh, Julie, thank you for, <laughs> for the little gif. I love it. Uh, or gif, whatever the heck. Whatever is correct, right? Gif, gif. Marcia says, got in. Thanks. Okay, awesome, Marcia. Um, Julie, you as well. Go ahead and jump into Creative Dreams if you want to do that. Um, it is my free group that I have. And um, I will add you, ladies, and I will make sure that I put this one in particular, since Marcia asked for it specifically, I will make sure that I, um, I'll make sure that I put that in here for you guys after I get, um, get off this, um, work, this painting tonight. Let's see. Okay. There you go, Marcia. You are now in. I just added you. So yay. Wonderful. Um, okay, so I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope you love this beautiful piece. Um, Julie says, yes, I painted with you. How can I show you? Um, you know what, Julie? You most certainly can just touch on the video, Julie, because I did put, you can message me directly um, right from this video. So go ahead and touch on that and see if that can happen. Um, if not, then you can, all of you, any of you who are in creative dreams, and I know some of you already do this, um, and I just, you know, started that group not too long ago, so there's still just, you know, a handful of us in there, but you guys can share your paintings uh, with me in there, and, you know, as well as everybody else who paints with us. So, uh, Julie, you can post any of your paintings in there. Uh, same with you, Marcia. You can post any of your paintings in Creative Dreams so we can all check it out. We can cheer you on. Um, Linda says, thank you, Amy. Looking forward to many more Tuesday nights. Awesome. Um, Julie and Marcia, whoever else is listening, you also can, right from my business page, message me right from my business page there, too. So, you know, but you can, I would love it if you, if you ladies posted them in Creative Dreams because... Um, I want you to express what your creative dreams are in there and, you know, post your work and, um, you know, if you have questions, I can answer them in there for you as well. Um, I will let you know that where I am most of the time and where I put a ton of my energy is with my creative warriors. And that is my membership program that I have, my mentorship for artists. Um, but I, you know, I still am. Uh, check it in with you guys in Creative Dreams. So that's totally fine. You are welcome, Mom. Okay, my throat's getting a little hoarse. I had band practice last night, and I sang my butt off. And I am, uh, you know, I'm going to peace out tonight. But um, I thank you again for being here. And uh, I look forward to seeing your paintings. All right, bye-bye.